All right, all my viewers from outside Europe must be thinking what is this airline that this guy is talking about which we never heard of. Well, for your information, Ryanair is one of Europe's most popular airlines, serving over 2,400 daily flights from 83 base locations. The carrier has grown rapidly since it started operating first flight in 1985. Ryanair is Europe's biggest individual airline with 140 million passengers flown in the last year alone. Much, much ahead of larger and more popular Lufthansa Group and British Airways. Overall, so many European airlines has filed for bankruptcy in 2019 alone. Latest being Thomas Krug Group and Slovenian flag carrier Adria Airlines. So, what is Ryanair's success formula that makes them so great in a highly competitive airline industry? Please stay with us and we will discuss about those in the brand new episode of Gadgets and Facts. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon because we bring exciting videos like this to you every week. Ryanair's founder Tony Ryan was born in Ireland. He was previously an Aer Lingus employee before working with them to start weight leasing company Guinness Speed Aviation. Guinness Speed Aviation specialized in aircraft leasing and went on to become a $4 billion company at its peak. This organization benefits from technical, financial and legal support from Aer Lingus. Following his growth in confidence and revenue through Guinness Speed Aviation's operations, Ryan used his experience to found Ryanair. The businessman wanted to challenge the dominance that the small number of airlines had over the Ireland Britain network. However, Aer Lingus had placed a non-compete clause in Ryan's contract. This caused the entrepreneur to start the firm through a family trust. Aer Lingus and British Airways served the majority of airports in the London area from Ireland. Therefore, Ryan opted to launch his low-cost carrier with flights to the nearby town of Luton. Ryanair's license was granted in December 1985, launching its first flight at a modest return fare of £99 only. This price was less than half of what Aer Lingus or British Airways was charging at that time. This spurred the veteran airlines to lower their prices significantly. After flying 82,000 passengers in its first year of operations, Ryanair increased its services with 15 new routes. Dubliners were treated with flights to Cardiff, Glasgow, Liverpool and Manchester. Ireland and United Kingdom both deregulated their combined air routes in 1988. This pushed Ryanair to increase its flight size to operating on a total of 19 routes. The early 1990s saw Ryanair excel in its role as a no-frills carrier under Tony Ryan's as well as his assistant Michael O'Leary's supervision. With passengers willingly sacrificing comfort for value, the airline adopted a single aircraft type and increased the frequency of its service. Aer Lingus offered £25 million to buy out Ryanair in 1993. However, Ryanair responded by overtaking both Aer Lingus and British Airways as the largest commercial carrier on the Dublin-London route. Meanwhile, the airline overhauled its fleet with 12 Boeing 737s to capitalize on the European Union's new open sky policy. Subsequently, the brand launched its first four European routes from 1997, with new routes from London Stansted and Dublin. Stockholm, Oslo, Paris and Brussels were all connected to Ryanair's network, bringing Ryanair's year-end passenger count to 3.4 million. To cut the cost of middleman, Ryanair took first-of-its-kind approach by launching Ryanair.com in January 2000. It became Europe's largest flight booking website with 50,000 bookings within a week. By this point, Ryanair was serving around 5 million passengers a year a feat achieved due to its founder Tony Ryan's determination. Using his expertise in aircraft handling while cultivating his aviation network, Ryan grew his project into an international powerhouse. After stepping down, Ryan further pursued his aviation expertise by investing 16% in 
in Tiger Airways before passing away in October 2007. Ryanair took some of the drastic steps during this period which made them who they are today. The Ryanair brand is smart and other airlines have so much to learn from it. Ryanair brand is built on a solid foundation and personified by its CEO with his outrageous comments and cost-cutting proposals. A brand that sends users a very clear message. This is a cheap airline and expect nothing else from us. Its customer service is infamous, as are its excess fees. But its balance sheets proves passengers don't seem to mind. In fact, quite the opposite. Ryanair offers a very clear image and expectation to the users. They will get a really cheap price and a seat that takes them from point A to point B. However, comfort and kindness are not included. With this image clear in their minds, users board the flights, fully prepared mentally for all sorts of hurdles and troubles, more often than they do not encounter the said troubles. In short, the airline consistently underpromises and overdelivers, thus creating a positive brand experience. As a consequence, critics of the airlines like Ryanair tend to be users who have never flown the airline. On the other hand, its strongest advocates are actually those who have flown and continue to fly the airline. Whereas, on the other hand, low-cost services offered by some of the legacy airlines, the problem is reversed. These airlines spend massive amount of advertising budgets on showcasing their latest business class seats, sumptuous meals and quality of the service. Users board the plane with high expectation and ultimately are negatively surprised when the airline under delivers on its brand promise. As of today, Ryanair serves almost 135 million passengers per year with its load factor hitting over 95%, making it one of Europe's biggest airlines. They are one of the biggest operators of Boeing 737 aircraft. They connect 39 countries and the airline continues to grow with with its 135 more Boeing aircraft on order. I hope other low-cost carriers around the world also learn lessons from Ryanair and improve their business model. Ultimately, Ryanair proved that low-cost airlines can also be run profitably if there is a strong leadership and discipline is present within the company. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your aviation enthusiast friends. Also, let me know in the comment section below which airlines or company you want me to cover on my next video. Thanks for sticking in. I'll see you in the next week with another exciting topic. Till then, have a good one guys.